Hey, Oz Redneck Biker 109. Hey, um, so what I'm gonna do is I got a couple more farkles, like you know, like everyone else. I'm always kind of tinkering and doing um, new things with my bike. And so what I got today is I've got the Warp 9 racing, both the clutch lever and the brake lever. So uh, this is the the clutch lever. I've been looking at new levers for a while and. Um, and then on part of my TAT trip, I got really frustrated with my clutch lever because it seemed like no matter what I did, um, when, you know, the bike got covered in mud and all those things, it just kind of, I don't know, it just went out of adjustment and it was really, really frustrating, especially in the mud when I was trying to learn how to ride in the mud and I didn't have a clue what I was doing and the clutch was making me mad and I haven't posted that video just yet and I said, I'll, I'll get to it, but... Um, I'm really happy with the, the, the initial quality on these things so far. Um, they're a little bit shorter and um, they offer a lot more adjustability. So you'll have the regular adjustability that you have with the, with the stock clutch lever, but then you've also got, um, if you can see it, this bolt here, so you can adjust the pool or you know how close it sits to the bar. Um, and then the cool thing about this is it flexes the other way quite significantly so if your bike falls over it's not going to break your lever off so i mean that's like that's 90 degrees of flex so you almost can't be that and and the um the brake lever does the same thing so here it would be in the as it is on the bike and then nine almost like i said 90 degrees of flex or even better um and like i said i'm really happy with the the initial quality we'll see how they are on the bike i like um, i've got kind of small hands um, they're not trump hands but you know they're um, small so I, I like the smaller lever um, just more to for me to grip on and then even with gloves on um, these will be fine um, they're kind of got a cool engraving on there. it says warp nine so i'm going to put those on here in a little bit and we'll see what they look like i don't know if i'll do a full install on them but um, we'll see and then to go to complement this, I went ahead and bought bark busters. So I bought the um, like the full kit. So you get you know left and right side, and then you get all the mounting hardware. Um, looks pretty straightforward. Hopefully, I won't have to cut anything off the bike. I've seen where people have had to. Um, remove cable guides to get these to fit correctly so I don't know if that's been adjusted or played with at all um, I'll let you know here shortly and then it comes with you know a deflector for I went with a storm and it's and there are several options that you can pick um, and I just went with a basic um, the VPS storm guards or whatever they're called and then the, uh, they also come with like a little deflector that sits kind of behind it. So it gives you additional wind protection, you know, for the winter or whatever. So uh, these seem really good quality as well. Um, I'm gonna, I'll put those on as well. So that'll add some additional protection to the shift levers and uh, my hands. <laughs> so, um, and you know, when the bike falls over too, it'll help kind of protect that. So. I'm going to install both those things, and like I said, I'll kind of give a little itty-bitty updates here and there, just let you know how it's going. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe as well, and so uh, comment, you know, if you have any questions. I've been answering quite a few questions lately. Um, so um, the TAT was a fun ride. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm working on those videos. It's kind of slow going. I've been working a ton, so, um, but I'll get them up, I promise. So... Without further ado, I'll get to the install and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so here's the first, this is the clutch lever side. Um, it went pretty smoothly. Whatever this bolt here is, it goes all the way through and then to the bottom and then there's a couple, couple bolts here on the bottom. This thing was stripped at the tip. So when I was trying to reinstall it, it I had some difficulty getting the nuts back on on the bottom but otherwise it looks pretty good um, I'm pretty happy with it um, I've, I've kind of sort of already adjusted it um, I like the play in it and I love this part of it I mean 
shit, you can bend it, like I said, past 90 degrees, so that looks pretty good. Um, and then the, I'll put the Bark Buster on here in just a minute. And then what I discovered too was, like I talked about the cable guide, and I was worried that I was gonna have to cut the cable guide. Well, it turns out my cables aren't even in it. So I didn't even, I guess I didn't even notice that, but um, so if I need to cut it off, I guess I will. Um, so I don't know what happened there at the factory. I guess they didn't know what that was for or something, I guess, I don't, I don't know. So we'll see, I'll move these cables around a little bit and um, put that bark buster on. So we'll see what that looks like here in just a second. So we'll be back here in a flash. It'll look like a time lapse, all right? Okay, so here's the old clutch lever. And you can see, I don't know how tall that is. Uh, it is exactly eight inches long. And the new one is about seven and a half. So you can see the difference. But the, one of the main differences is gonna be adjustability. So um, this is a pain in the ass to get off by the way. So whatever this long bolt is called for me was stripped and it wouldn't back out. So a um, little gentle tap with a hammer eventually coaxed it out. Um, so old, new. Old and busted, new hotness. Okay, so here's the first, this is the clutch lever side. Um, it went pretty smoothly. Whatever this bolt here is, it goes all the way through and then to the bottom, and then there's a couple, couple bolts here on the bottom. This thing was stripped at the tip. So when I was trying to reinstall it, it I had some difficulty getting the nuts back on on the bottom. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I've, I've kind of sort of already adjusted it. Um, I like to play in it and I love this part of it. I mean, shit, you can bend that, like I said, past 90 degrees. So that looks pretty good. Um, and then the, I'll put the Bark Buster on here in just a minute. And then what I discovered too was, like I talked about the cable guide and I was worried that I was gonna have to cut the cable guide. Well, it turns out my cables aren't even in it. So I didn't even, I guess I didn't even notice that. But um, so if I need to cut it off, I guess I will. Um, so I don't know what happened there at the factory. I guess they didn't know what that was for or something, I guess. I don't, I don't know. So we'll see. I'll move these cables around a little bit and um, put that Bark Buster on. So we'll see what that looks like here in just a second. So we'll be back here in a flash. It'll look like a time lapse, all right? Well, the... Um, The brake lever is pretty easy to come out. It it wasn't stripped. You got this little itty bitty string, spring, pardon me, that you need to be careful of. It's there. It'll come shooting out at you if you're not careful. Um, there's a little hole that it goes into. Uh, and so um, I'm sure you've noticed that, uh, well, see my big melon wasn't in there. Um, so it just goes in a little indent right in there. I'll just leave it in there. And then it helps the lever return. So if you noticed on the other side, no Bark Buster. The reason there's no Bark Buster is because Bark Busters didn't send me all the stuff that I need to install them. For whatever reason, in the package that I got, not all the bolts were in there. Well, that's just pretty much how things run in my family. And for whatever fucking reason, you know, we're always... <laughs> I, if, if I even started to explain to it, you, you would never believe me, but... It's, it's, it's insane how many things we order that never show up right and we have to call and, you know, it's hard not to be a dick, you know, all the time when, you know, shit doesn't show up, but whatever. So it looks like this will go on really pretty easy. It was just that one bolt. Thankfully it wasn't stripped on this side. So it goes right in there. Um, and then we'll see, I've got some, uh, 
lithium grease I can put on there. So hopefully here in just a second that'll be on there. So we'll see. We'll see how it looks like and um, I'll let you know what it feels like. So. All right, installing the shift lever was, or pardon me, the brake lever was cake. I mean, it's just this um, bolt here. You just pull it all the way out. There's two screws on the bottom. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that. Uh, quite frankly, it's um, pretty cool. Um, I've got it adjusted already. Kind of sat on it and just kind of tried to feel my way as far what, what I think I would like. So I'll give it a ride tomorrow and then tell you kind of like a ride report. Um, I don't think I could be happier. I mean, they look pretty good, as you can see. They're easy to install, um, you know, and I think if I... I didn't really look at other videos as far as these go. Um, I'm gonna have to make just a little bit of an adjustment maybe with the clutch just because uh, I had to loosen uh, this part, so I need to get it back to where I like it. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, feels pretty good. Same way with the brake lever. Uh, we'll just kind of make sure that you've got a really fine adjustment knob tune thing here and here, so you can get the lever you know, either further or, or closer to you, however you like it. Um, I have mine in the closest position at the moment. We'll see how that works out. I may make some adjustments and then maybe do a follow-up video uh, in a week or two and see how it rides. Um, again, sorry for the no, no bark busters because like I didn't get, like I said, I didn't get all the parts. So I don't know what happened. I don't know whether I just got something that was packaged on a Monday or a Friday or something. I don't know. Um, I went through all the, the the packaging and packaging material and it's, they're just not there. So I don't know, I don't know what they did. So I'm pretty excited about those. So I'll, I guess I'll do a separate video when I get to that. Um, you know, thanks for watching. Look for the TAT update videos. They're coming. I've been, like I said, I've been working a lot, not to make any excuses, but I've been working quite a bit. So at my real job. So, you know, Look for updates and thanks again for watching. Subscribe and you know comment. Um, I love answering your all's questions. Um, so looking for 200 followers. I think I'm like at 185 or 186. So uh, hit the follow button or subscribe button or whatever it's fucking called. And uh, you know thanks for watching and uh, ride safe, ride dirty. Well, I don't mean ride dirty, but you know get dirty. Get your get your little BMW fucking dirty. You know who you are. Thanks for watching.